Hikari United. Well, with the victory by AS Academy earlier, Hikari had already known they'd be in second place. Marie Kaipo, who has been in devastating form, matched in, expected to be uh, the main target, the focal point for attack. And it was in the 12th minute that Kaipo slid home. Picking out uh, the two eyes left. And about uh, 16 minutes later, in the 28th minute, Kaipu doubling the lead for Hikari United with her second. Yotivini Tambua in the first half, that was the nearest that Lambasa had come uh, in attack. Despite dominating possession, Hikari United had struggled in the, in the second half. A bunch of good saves from Adi Tuai. This was one of the nearest chances that they had. Uh, Lambasa. And I see Tuberi. On multiple occasions, uh, both Adi Vulutokoro and Stella Navalulevu had found themselves in an attacking position, but Kaipu, while she had gone in, uh, the follow up header, offside flag was raised on the far side. You can just see Fulori Sukula had raised her hand. Alton Skimmit also taking a, another shot on goal, but Adi Tuai really the standout for in defense for Lombasa. Two goals in the first half by Marie Kaipu. And seeing Hikari United victorious in the final fixture of the OFC Women's Champions League 2023. Hikari United 2, Lombasa Women's Football Club 0.